Hi, I'm the database management system and I control where everything goes in a database. If you want something, you have to go through me to get it. I'm the one in charge. Now I keep data in records and the records go in tables like these ones here. I have a table for teachers data, a table for classes and a table of student data. Hi guys. Hi Mr DBMS. Now, tables on their own are great. The student table contains all the data I want to know about each student. The class table tells me who is teaching and studying each class. The class is the link between the teacher and the student. And to understand this, I need some way to join the tables together. I need to understand what the relationship between the tables is and how to record who is taking what. I'll start by making sure I know who we are talking about. Hey, Mark. Hi, Mr. DBMS. Good, no problem. He's Mark. Hey, Joe. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. DBMS. DBMS. Oh, that's a problem. With so many people in the world, I can't use everyday information like their names. To be sure, I have to give them something that I can be absolutely certain is unique. A key that will only unlock the correct person's record. It's called the primary key. Every record must have a different value for its primary key. So key number one here is given to Joe. And key number two, to the other Joe. Now I won't ever mix them up again, so long as I use their key values rather than their names. Primary key. Primary means first, and it's because it's the first thing I have to look for if I want to make sure I get the right record. Now how does that help me record what classes Joe, sorry, the one with primary key number one, attends? If we take a closer look at the classes table, you can see we have some records here. Some of these records look like they have little Joes on them. Hey guys, what do you have there? Hi Mr DMS. We have Joe's key. I have it on this record, which is his English class. And I have it on his record, which is his French class. What gives with the hats? Well, we had to travel across the relationship to get here, so it's like we're on holiday. Our keys are foreign keys, because they're on a different table. Yes, that's right. On the student table, Joe's key is the primary key. It's unique and it unlocks all the information about Joe. But here on the class table, it can be used in many records, once for each class Joe attends. And what about those other keys? That's another foreign key. Can you match it up to the student table to see who it belongs to? The key is the same as Mark's, so those must have been Mark's' class records. But look closely and you'll see there's also a different key on each record. Hey guys, what are those other shaped keys doing there? Oh, they're the teacher's keys. If you use them on the teacher table, they'll tell you who teaches the classes. Right, so are they primary or foreign keys? Ah, trick question. They're both. It just depends on which table they're on. On the class table, they can be used many times. One teacher will teach many students in a class. So here on the class table, they are foreign keys. If we create the relationship with the teacher table and go over there, we should be able to find the matching primary key value. Now who has the same key? Oh yes, Mr Smith. Using keys like this to join tables, make sure we don't mix up any data. Very important. And I'm sure you wouldn't want your dance class to be mixed up with your history one, would you? Oh, maybe you would. But not me. I like everything in the right place. One primary key for each table that must be unique for each record. And if it is used on another table, it's then called a foreign key.